and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool outline effect in Final Cut Pro 10. You have a couple different ideas when it comes to this effect. You can kind of have it like a black and white um, outline right here where you only see the outline, not the person. You could have the person kind of like offsetting so it looks like the person is cloned. Or you could also have the outline a lot closer um, to the actual person's body. I'm gonna go over a couple different ideas you can do with this effect. And yes, I know these like football videos and uh, videos with a lot of like um, contrast in the background or whatever, with a lot of different things happening in the background. It definitely makes it difficult for the um, effect to kind of identify who they're trying to um, outline. That's why I always encourage you if you're doing a video like this with an outline effect, you want to have the background like pretty much kind of like be like one color or just like, like all black or all white. That way it'll make the contrast between the um, outline of the character a lot easier. But again, this is just like an example. Your your um, effect doesn't have to look like this. These are a couple. These are just a couple of different ideas that I came up with. Now, no, this is this is not a plugin that. Uh, actually, never mind. It does cost money. It costs like eighteen dollars, and you have to get downloaded um, from Ryan Nagel, Ryan Nagel's shop. So yes, this does actually cost money, and it is a plugin. It is not built in to Final Cut Pro 10. I will put the link down in the description below. And yes, it does, unfortunately, for some people, depending on your situation, cost about $20. So this is what the this is where you get the plugin right here. Now it comes with a whole whole bunch of different effects in this plugin, but I'm gonna go over the actual of this effect right here called the outline. The next four or five videos will be covering a whole bunch of different effects. Um all from this Ryan Nagel New Wave um bundle plugin. Yes, it does cost $20, and yes, it is a plugin. So this is what the effect looks like right here. It's called the outline effect um, right here. So go to File, New, Project, and I don't know, we'll just call this Test right here, like I do in all the videos. So let's head over here, and I'll just copy, I'll just take this effect, uh, this clip right here, and just go over a couple different examples. And of course, you can obviously, you know, use your own creativity and so on and so forth. But I just want to show you a couple different ideas when it comes to this effect right here. So I'll go ahead and just delete it right here, and I'll go back to the original and show you a couple different ideas. So let's head over to the outline effect right here. Make sure you're in a Ryan Nagel new wave bundle. You want to go to the outline effect and apply the outline um, to the video right here. Now what it does is it does a very it tries its best to figure out what to actually outline. That's why this video probably isn't the best example um, for this effect. But I actually want to use this as an example. You probably want a video where like the background, like I said before, is like all one color, all black, all white, all red. Just so the contrast will look a lot nicer. But that being said, this is just an example um, for this tutorial right here. So let's go ahead and play it right here. And this is what the effect looks like at its default settings. Now. This probably isn't the best example too because you probably want someone like facing directly at the camera but of course it depends on uh, whatever look um, you want to go for um, right here. So a couple of different ideas that I came up with when kind of messing around with this effect was you can actually turn the background opacity to zero. So if we play the effect right here, this is what it looks like when the background opacity is at zero. It's honestly a pretty cool effect and I actually think this effect looks better um, than, the, when, than the, the effect looks like when there's a person. This honestly is a really cool and unique effect right here. So again, the background opacity needs to go to zero right here and there we go. Now a couple different ideas you could do too is you could change the ink color. You could change the ink color to um, green right there. So you can change it to a whole bunch of different colors. You could of course increase the contrast, um, increase the brightness right here, and you could increase the saturation. That of course is all up to you right here. I don't really mess with these effects too much, um, but of course it's all, it's all up to you. You could rotate it, but I don't really know why you would rotate it that much. Um, scaling is definitely a, a very unique idea. I didn't really find it that useful. I didn't personally like the look of the scale effect right here. But you can obviously scale the effect up right there so it can look like that. That is, of course, a personal preference. Again, I didn't really find it to look that good, uh, but that's up to you. You could, of course, 
adjust the position right here you can adjust the y-axis and you can adjust the x-axis which i think is the, the biggest one right here so you can move it all the way over here depending on your look right here you could put it exactly on the person right there i personally think that looks kind of horrific but that of course is all to that i think it looks really ugly i'm not going to encourage you to do anything like that so let's go to 40 right here so this is what it looks like right here but it's a pretty cool unique effect i think i like it better when it's a little more offset um right here so let's go maybe negative 10 right here maybe offset it just a little bit and yes you're going to see a couple of white spots here and there that's because the contrast between the contrast in this video the effect is a hard time figuring out what colors or what to actually create an outline of so you don't want any lines in the video or else you're going to have the background it's going to start outlining the background this is a pretty a good example but not obviously the best one so let's offset it right here a little bit and let's try to offset it to look i think what i did was negative i think 35 i'll go ahead and check later but i offset it a lot to the left right here and you could go for this look um right here you could obviously increase the smoothness right here you can mess with the smoothness if you want i don't really mess with the smoothness um a ton but you could of course just turn it right down to zero right here that of course is all up to you and then the threshold you could increase it right here or decrease it right there you could go for that look if that's what you want to go for right there i think what i did was i believe i put it to like negative five um try negative five right here let's try to bring this up just a little bit right here to kind of just mess with a whole bunch of different ideas and you could of course um just kind of mess with it until you like the look of it. You could try five, you could try to mess around with whatever, whatever look you really want to go for. Maybe let's move the smoothness down to zero right here. You could go for that look um, right there. So let's go ahead, get rid of it right here. And kind of go over this effect um, right here. So let's do this one right here. As you can see right here, you have this really cool film border vertical right here this is something that also comes in the plugin right here film border vertical and then for this one right here i change the background opacity to zero and here are all of the settings that i used for this example right here you could go ahead and just copy these settings if you like the look of this effect right here so here are the settings for this one and here are the settings for the first one right here and that's how you create this really cool outline effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Remember, just download the plugin from Ryan Nigel. And yes, it does cost money, about $20. And you can apply this effect right here, this outline effect um, right here. But of course, in your motions template folder, make sure it's in the effects folder or else it's not going to show up. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So you can definitely go ahead and check out that playlist if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.